Hey there. Now, let's uh, let's take a look even further in the Friday the 13th saga. Now we're going to look at Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives. Um, I've always kind of liked this movie because it was the one I've seen the least. And it seems like... I don't know, just because I, I, I started off seeing bits and pieces of it, I kind of just hungered to see more. Ah, but, um, I think this is one of my favorites out of the series, to be honest. I'd say it's probably a, a 7 out of 10. I thought... It was weird that they changed Tommy Jarvis's character to a different actor. That was a little awkward for me. Um, but overall, I think it is a, a great movie. Um, but uh, let's let's get started. Let's see. Okay, so Tommy Jarvis and a friend of his are are trying to dig up Jason's body and just completely fucking destroy it. Well, you know, they get to Jason's, you know, grave and, and his coffin and open the lid and uh Tommy stabs a um a fence pike through Jason's body. But then a a strike of lightning comes down, hits the the post and um, Tommy goes flying, but it somehow brings Jason back to life. So now he's he's trying to kill all he's, he he kills Tommy's friend, which I think was the most badass way anybody could kill somebody. I'm I'm not a killer. I'm just saying it was it's pretty badass to see. Jason takes his hand, shoves it through the kid's chest, and when his hand pops out on the other side, he's holding the guy's heart. Then he pulls his hand back out, the guy just falls to the ground. So, you know, he dies, and then, you know, he's, he's kind of fighting Tommy a little bit. But Tommy escapes and runs back to the police station to tell everybody. But the, the the police are saying, "No, you're 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 fucking crazy. Get the hell out of here. You're just trying to bring up bad memories." Well, Jason starts killing all these people. So the uh, so the sheriff believes that. It's Tommy killing all these people so that they'll believe that Jason is back out. So they go looking for Tommy, find out he didn't murder anybody. And, um, you know, there's a, a camp that opened down um, in the woods somewhere. And, you know, Jason goes there. He, he pretty sure he kills some people there. He always does. And then the sheriff runs into him. Jason um, bends him all the way back to his legs, like the top of his body. It's like that's his body. It is the top. And then you just hear a cracking sound. You know, bends his back all the way back to his legs. And then it goes after um after after the girl. But Tommy's like, no, 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 you want me, you want me. So Tommy goes out onto a boat, ties a chain around onto a rock, you know, a big old rock. And, um, you know, Jason pops up out of the water and attacks him. So Tommy puts the, um, the loop on the other end of the chain around Jason's throat. Then Jason breaks the boat, so... The rock's going down way towards the bottom of the lake, dragging Jason with it. But Jason's grabbing Tommy's leg, trying to pull him with him, too. 
Well, um, Tommy just about drowns, but the girl gets him out of the water and, like, does this CPR thing on him, and he's back to life. And, um, it's, uh, it's pretty much part six. I, I left out a lot, because a lot of it was just un unnecessary details I needed to say. But, um, definitely give it a watch. If you're if you're a fan and haven't seen this movie, or if you're a fan and just want to see it anyways, so uh, yeah, give it a shot.